You seem nervous, Beth. Why is that? I'm not used to sitting and talking with the boss, I guess. Well, what can I do to make you feel more comfortable? Sure you won't have a drink? Positive. You know, just because you work for me doesn't mean we can't be friends. That depends on what you mean by friends, Monsieur Castillo. Friends. Friends are people who like each other, and I like you. I like the way you look, the way you talk. You have a beautiful smile. You're probably the prettiest maid we've ever had working here. Thank you. Now, what were those questions you wanted to ask me? I just want to know a little bit more about you. When I asked you before why you came to Paris, I got the sense that you weren't telling me the whole story. What makes you think that? No, just a hunch. I think you've got a past. Most beautiful women do. That's what makes them more intriguing. Everybody has a past, Monsieur Castillo. But not everybody hides it. I flunked chemistry once and I didn't tell my parents. Is that the sort of thing you mean? I was thinking of something a little more dramatic. Perhaps an unhappy love affair. I don't trust men enough to get myself in a situation where I'd have to run away from them. Good line. Well, if that's not what it is, I wonder what it could be. Are you always this interested in the private lives of your chambermaids? An employer can never be too careful. I guess. But if I didn't know better, I bet you were coming on to me. What makes you think you know better? You are a married man, Monsieur Castillo. Yes. There are marriages, and then there are marriages, if you get my drift. I'm afraid you drifted right by me. Not everybody marries for the same reasons, Beth. And again, some women prefer married men. Their wives usually do. And if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to do. Such a conscientious girl. I like that. Well, we'll have to do this again real soon because it has been fun. You're excused.